Uh, uh, good, good afternoon, afternoon everybody. everybody. The Lord be the with Lord you be all God. in Jesus' name. Uh, sorry, I actually was logged in. I heard when Pastor Charles was asking the media department if I'm on, and they were telling him I'm not. When in reality I was there, I was talking, but the media department were not hearing. Um, so, sorry, um, I greet all of you in the entire region in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to bless the Lord for his faithfulness in our lives and for what he's been doing in us and through us. I pray that the mercies of the Lord uh, will continually abide and abound in our lives in Jesus' name. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we are grateful because you are the living God and the mighty God. Thank you for the worship service of today, both in the United States, over here in Manila, uh, in Philippines as a whole, in Hong Kong and other places. Thank you, Father, for all the vessels you have used, you are using and you continue to use. We pray for the sufficiency of your grace upon our lives and uh, continue to strengthen our hands for this great work that you are giving us to do. Give us one mind, one heart, undivided, fully and consistently loyal unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, I say God bless you all, to all our pastors, in all the locations within the region. And uh, I believe that everyone is uh, clearly hearing me. I want to say thank you to you all again for your constant, continuous involvement and participation in the work of the ministry and making the work easier for the leadership to be able to do because um, you are only a leader when you have followers, and you are a king when you have the people you are ruling, and when the people accept you. I want to say thank you for accepting me as your uh, as a spiritual leader, and I pray that the Lord will use all of us together in Jesus' name. Um, basically, the announcement is going to be brief, it's going to be short, and it's going to be glorious. I want to say from the beginning that all things work together for good. To them that love the Lord, to them that are called according to his purpose. And we all know that we are working with the timing of God, not our own time. Uh, we have the clock, but God has the time. And sometimes we make some moves. Uh, even the people of the world, they say man proposes, but God disposes. It is when the Lord gives us the strength, the grace, the time, and the open door to get anything done, that is when it is done. And um, a, a, a horse can be prepared for the day of battle, but victory is of the Lord. And so in all that we do, we listen to the leading of the Lord. Remember the parable of the sower, sowing in different places, not waiting for the good time, the best time, because nobody knows, only God does. And so one of the uh, uh, proofs of obedience is when test comes, and we call it the test of obedience. And when the test comes, People respond to it differently. People react to it differently. Unknown to them that they are going through a test. I pray that whenever the test will come our way, we will pass the test in Jesus' name. Uh, basically, we are ready for our convention, which is coming up on the uh, uh, next month, actually, from the 25th. So 28th of July, and quite a lot has been done 
in all the various departments, all our leaders have been putting heads together. The sectional heads, people that were saddled with different things, they have gone far in planning and preparation. Of course, as you all know, that uh, programs are not done at the last minute. The preparation starts many, many months ahead of time. And we bless the Lord for all that our leaders have done so far. The progress they have made, the contacts they have made, the accomplishments they have gotten, the contracts we signed already, and we want to see to God be great. I know that some of you have already booked your ticket for the convention so that you can get a good price. Uh, some of you, you have taken permission from your place of work. And we bless the Lord for that. But again, understand that man proposes, God disposes. And God's time is always the best time. Always the best time. Uh, basically, there is an instruction from the general superintendent concerning our convention for this year. Uh, because of certain things going on in some parts of the world. I spoke with all our pastors earlier, uh, last night already, about this. But I don't want to bug you with the details of the whole thing. And uh, the general superintendent spoke with me and has requested that we move the date for our convention. And since we are obedient servants, uh, who will always submit to higher authority, when the higher law and the lower law means, the lower law submits to the higher law. And uh, we have no other choice than to listen to our Father in the Lord. Under the apostleship and uh, the prophetic ministry of whom we are all operating. And so by the grace of God, uh, the convention for this year is going to be moved from July to October. We are going to do it October 17th now. And this is to enable people to retool themselves, replan themselves, reorganize themselves. Now, I know you'll say, what happened to the plans we have made? God will give you the grace to make better plan in Jesus' name. I know some will say, schools are in session. Well, we look into everything possible. And we felt that that was going to be the best time for us to have it next. Uh, we are collapsing what would have been our pastor's retreat into the convention uh, because we have to listen to the instruction of our father in the Lord and work with him. Since we are not working for ourselves and we're not working against one another, we are working with him uh, to make him succeed in life. And as we walk with him, by the grace of God, each and every one of us will also succeed in Jesus' name. And so, uh, please bear with us. If you have any challenge, if you have booked your ticket and there is an issue with you changing the date, if it's going to cost you extra money, if you can afford to pay it, the Lord will bless you more. If you cannot afford, let us know. We'll see what we can do to give you the necessary support. If you have booked an hotel, call the hotel and change the hotel date. If you delay, other people will get it because some were looking for the hotel you got. They couldn't get it. So as soon as I'm done with this announcement, if you made hotel preparation already, quickly call them, change the date. It's not going to be October 17, 18, 19, and 20th. 17th to 20th. And so uh, this is the announcement. I don't want to take too much of our time. Uh, understand again that we are men and women under authority. Uh, the, um, the centurion met with Jesus. And when Jesus said, I'm coming to your house, he said, no, Jesus, you don't have to come. I'm a man under authority. I saw to this one go, and he goes. I say to the other one, go, and they come, speak the word only. That simply tells us when we submit to higher we authority, lower authorities will submit to us. And I'm here to let you know that the powers of Satan, demons, evil spirit, they are lower authorities. 
and they will submit unto us. The Bible says, we shall decree a thing. It shall be established unto us, and light will shine upon our path. Again, I appreciate every one of you. I appreciate your understanding. I appreciate our working together and collaborating together, and your love for the general superintendent, your love for God, your love for me. Uh, since I'm representing the GS and the, the GS is representing God, your love for your pastor, your pastors in all the states are also representing me. And then your love for yourself because you are representing yourself, you are representing your family. We are an embod embodiment of love and the grace of God will be sufficient for us in Jesus' name. We don't expect that anybody anywhere will go against this rule, but rather we will work together. Nobody and different ways of going against is okay, I'm not going again. That is reacting to it, uh, or maybe discouraging other people, or saying that uh, children are in school, you can take permission for that time. People take permission to go for personal things. People fall sick. And if in a whole quarter or session or semester, you are taking permission for one day or even two days, um, that will not kill your children. Uh, what we were doing when our own children were much younger was if an exam is coming and we have programs like this, the children will tell their teacher, they do the exam ahead of time, and then we travel together, we do everything together. So wherever there is a will, there will always be a way. And uh, the crusade that is ongoing, remember, this is our anniversary. Every June is the anniversary for Global Crusade. I pray that heaven will celebrate you. Angels will celebrate you. Your generation will celebrate you. The Bible says that the heavens declare the glory of God. That glory will be made manifest in your life, in your family, in your ministry, uh, in your health, in your resources, in your finances, in everything that you lay your hands upon to do in Jesus' name. I want to appreciate every one of you. Thanks to all our pastors, all our leaders, all the sectional leaders, the Lord be with you, the Lord keep you, and the Lord preserve you in Jesus' name. Those of you from the Mid-Atlantic, uh, we meet with the pastors from Mid-Atlantic and we talk more later on to see what we can do locally. But regionally, we are not going to be able to do anything for that period of time because of the request and the demand from the general superintendent. Uh, here in the Philippines, it's actually past midnight here. And uh, when we say thank you very much, we say marami salamat po. God be with you. God bless you.